William Hall, V.C., 1827 to 1904. A timeline. During and following the War of 1812, approximately 2,000 people of African descent arrived in Nova Scotia after escaping enslavement in the United States. Among these freedom seekers were Jacob and Lucy Hall, parents of William Hall. William Hall was born in Horton on April 28, 1827. Hall's parents established a farm in Horton Bluff, near the shipyards of Hansport, where he and his father Jacob worked. At 17, Hall began a career at sea, first on merchant ships based out of the Minas Basin, before briefly serving in the United States Navy during the Mexican-American War. In 1852, Hall volunteered for the Royal Navy, serving first on the HMS Rodney. He fought in the Crimean War, which began the following year in 1853. For his efforts in this battle, he was awarded both the British and Turkish Crimean medals. Hall's most notable career achievement happened during the 1857 siege at Lucknow, India. The captain of HMS Shannon, William Peel, recommended Hall and fellow crew member Thomas Young for the Victoria Cross in recognition of their gallant conduct at a 24-pounder gun at Lucknow on 16th November, 1857. Hall remained a member of the Royal Navy for the rest of his career, retiring in 1876 with the rating of Petty Officer First Class on HMS Royal Adelaide. Upon his retirement, Hall returned to Nova Scotia where he lived the rest of his life on a farm with his sisters Rachel Robson, Charlotte Hall, Mary Hall, and extended family. In 1904, Hall died and was buried in Lockhartville. Years later, a campaign to have him recognized led to his reinterment and a monument being erected on the grounds of Hansport Baptist Church. Today we celebrate all that this Nova Scotian mariner achieved.